How's it going everyone? You're watching the Green Dream Project. Just gotta get this fly off my face. <laughs> Jim here. Jeez. Beautiful evening here, Southeast Arizona. Oh, these sunsets are to die for. Check this out. Woo! Beauty, isn't she? Oh yeah. Get to enjoy that every night out here. But it's not the sunsets I'm here to show you. I did a video not too long ago, a little anticlimactic, dealing with water totes. I didn't even get to put any of that together. Let's remedy that situation. Let's attach the totes for the hacienda. Yeah! Man, I really like the lighting. This is the only time to film out here. So as I was walking over to the water totes, I stopped by the greenhouse. Man, one of the tie downs finally snapped. Check this out. Some mighty powerful winds out here. This thing won't make it to next winter. This is degrading so fast. So degrading. So we were out and about. I decided to make a stop. Picked me up a little bag of goodies. Ah! <laughs> PVC parts all day. That and an extra big container of PVC glue. Oh yeah! Christie's Red Hot Blue Glue. <laughs> Who's ready to glue up some PVC? I know I am. I didn't pick up any two inch bulkhead fittings though. You know why? I got one. I got two actually. I got these from uh, from when I pulled off the larger water tanks when I replumbed them a while ago. And yeah, it's a little dirty, but that's okay. You just, just wipe it off and that's perfectly fine. It's got a little piece of PVC stuck to it though, but that's okay. I'll just put a little connector piece on there. That's ready to go. I don't think this should take too long, right? Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, so I had an idea. Instead of pulling out a hacksaw or something like this, cutting on this thing all day, take it over to the miter saw. I think I seen a bigger channel do something like this once. I won't name names, they know who they are. Quick, easy, I like it. All right, so I think some people asked why this comes up like that. Very good question. Had I had planned this originally, I probably would have just came straight forward with this T coming over to this next tote. I didn't know if I'd be adding on or what we were gonna do with it. So I had this come up and out because I was gonna have it be an overflow pipe. But now I'm gonna overflow it into here. So no point in rearranging any of this. Now that it's coming up, I'm just gonna come bring it back down a little bit with this elbow. So it should go like that. Come down a little bit, throw another elbow, come on over, then we'll make a little Mr. T. All right. PVC glue, PVC glue. Oh. Oh. Messy stuff, messy stuff. Ah. Perfect. Now just come down slightly from that. Okay, so I got a, just a little, little piece of PVC here. Careful not to spill it. Nicely. Bam. I'll tell you though, this is the time to be working. There is like a 30 degree difference between your hottest time of the day and your coolest time of the day. That's a big temperature swing. Even on these hot summer nights here in the Arizona desert, in the high desert anyway, these nights are absolutely comfortable. You crack these windows in the, here in the evening in June and oh, that's good sleeping weather right there. That's a little crisp chill. We've been using blankets up until now. Isn't that crazy? Okay. Should I do a dry run? I don't know. Give it a Tight. Oh man. This is gonna be perfect. 
Yeah. Let's get a little bit of glue over here. This thing has way too much glue on it. Let's get a little glue on here right away. Avengers Assemble. That looks tight to me. Very cool. Now, I'm just gonna do the same thing what I did over here. Bring it up, out. And that way, I can overflow it where I wanna overflow it. Running low on light. How much of this do you think I'll be able to get done before I lose all my light? Probably not much more. I should probably stop talking. I'm getting there, but I'm losing light, losing that light. I'm just gonna add one more little piece of PVC to finish this connection off. Wow, you can't see anything now. <laughs> That's good because this will hide my mistakes. Oh yeah. You can't see any of this. I'm gonna bring you back here in a little bit. Well, tomorrow morning. And I'm gonna show you what this looks like. Oh man. Got some rest, and I'll show you. Now, I finished this project before the morning. I, I was done, but obviously couldn't show you. But like any good reality show, you always gotta have the reveal. So we're gonna do that right now. I'm gonna show you what this looks like. Okay, you ready for the reveal? Jim, let's move that bus. That's how that goes, right? There's no bus. Let's move that motorhome. I ain't moving the motorhome. I don't even know if that thing can move anymore. But check it out. So now the water will come off the roof, down the pipe, into the first IBC tote. When that fills up, it should come up, over, down, <laughs> over, fill up the second IBC tote, then go up and out. You can see I added the cap at the end just so that no uh, no creepy crawlies get in there. I'll probably have to remove that and put some kind of mesh on there. I just have it on there right now as a temporary solution to keep any bugs out. I'll probably have to extend the pipe and when I do, it'll be a mesh. There's gotta be some type of uh, airflow coming out so nothing backs up. Yeah, it's looking a little Mario Brothers over here. The plumbing's a little weird. <laughs> you might expect a little turtle crawling out at the end or something like that. What can you do? The plumbing might look a little crazy, but it should work. And we've now just doubled our capacity. 550 gallons. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. All right. Thanks a lot for joining me, everyone. Really appreciate you watching me glue PVC pipes. Thanks a lot for stopping by. Really appreciate it. We'll catch you on the next video. Bye.